POV Sport is kind of the sister machine um, to the ARP Wave. We do the ARP POV Sport therapy sessions here at Body Electric as well. And they are really the equivalent of like a two week workout in one session. Um, it is also an electrical stimulation device. Um, depending on the person, we use different um, protocols for each person. But you basically get a warm up, a stretch, a workout and a cool down in all in one session. Um, I've been in the health and fitness industry for, for over 20 years now um, and I've kind of taught and trained in all types of arenas and I can tell you this, this um, machine has done more for me than you know daily hours of training ever have. When I first started doing it though I can tell you I was hugely skeptical that I could actually you know keep the same amount of muscle tone on keep the same amount of endurance just using um, the machine for a, for a short time um, you know a few times a week it just um, didn't make sense to me so what happened is I actually um, would use it and go to the gym too that week because I'd done that my whole life it was something ingrained that I had done and then what happened is my schedule and my time began to get really busy so it became like I would go to the gym every two weeks. Well, I was doing the same weight and I was instead of losing strength from skipping the gym I was gaining strength. So I began to kind of actually okay there's something to this. I'm very in tune to my body and I know when I'm getting stronger or weaker or faster or slower so I went four weeks. Went back to the gym, remember doing deadlift squats, chest press I was gaining weight, I mean, like able to add weight again. I'm like, this is crazy. So then what happened, it would be like a month and a half, two months would go back, same situation was it, happening. So basically I went four years without going back to the gym. This is literally what happened. And I went back um, last December just because I felt like I wanted to. I had a day where I, I could and I never really have that anymore. So I thought, I'm gonna go. And I thought, oh, this is really going to be really sad. I'm going to be so weak. I picked up right back at my same regimen that I did four years ago. Same weight, hadn't lost any strength, and I hadn't touched a weight in four years. And really, all I had been doing, in all honesty, was the POV at about once a week at that time, just because my schedule had gotten so crazy that... Um, I just could not commit the time in the day. So that was kind of my aha moment for me, for somebody who had who'd worked out her whole life and you know was still keeping muscle mass on and was doing way less than I had ever done before. And plus my body felt so much more, you know, it just, it, it felt better overall because weightlifting, and, and like I said, I'm not opposed to it but by any means, but I did have to start thinking about about what weight training does. So when you're doing conventional weight training, for typically if you're trying to improve in sports or you've got a chronic disease like lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, something that's just eating you alive every day and you cannot exercise because the pain is too bad. Conventional weight training goes down into the muscles and creates little mini tears in the muscles to actually rebuild it. Um, so what the brain sees that as, I mean the brain can't tell if it's an injury or not an injury or what's happened. It sees it as an actual injury in the body. So neurologically, we begin to go into protective mode when you have that sore, achy feeling after you've been in the gym. That's why if you've had a heavy workout and the next day you're kind of ooh, 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 can't step right, can't go here because your brain is trying to protect that area. What the POV Sport does, which is why it's so amazing in just sports and performance, is it's actually, it's not creating that, it's actually recovering the muscle with blood flow while you are using it. So when you go to try to throw a baseball or run or play football or shoot a basketball, you're actually still fluid in that, um, in that sport instead of the stiff achy feeling when you kind of have to back off from lifting particularly like in baseball and areas because of the stiff and achiness. Um, I saw it I think probably 
two months into it, I went and played, uh, we were playing a silly game on a, on a weekend badminton, and I noticed that I just, my agility was completely different than it was after two weeks of training there. I just had a, a ton more force, and I thought, oh, this is crazy, considering I'm really not, I didn't feel like in my mind I was doing a whole lot because of um, my history of, of working out and what I used to think was um, was a lot. So it it does it does everything in you know one session and you are working muscles and like i said they're all individual based on the person but you're working you know muscles in a way that's that's proper and you're not compensating so you're not creating additional problems for the person down the road so it really can just enhance your sports. You know, what I've seen with, with some of the athletes that we've treated here is, um, particularly the, the younger ones, what the parents have told me is, you know what, my son got injured five, six times last year. He hasn't had one injury this year. Guess what? Because his muscles are actually working the way they should be. Um, you know, injuries are nothing more than something failed in in the process. So, you know, just because um, you blew an ACL, that might not be exactly what the, the muscle was that, that, that didn't um, take the force at the time. So I hear that a lot. You know what, I used to get, you know, I used to be stiff, achy, this, this, this in the mornings, I'm not feeling that. You know, I used to get injured all the time, I'm not feeling that. The other thing I hear is, I've never been a runner. I've never wanted to actually go run, but I decided I wanted to run yesterday. So, you know, I can see that a lot in women. So we've got athletes and then we've got men and women who just have lost that motivation to actually go work out again. What I hear time and time again is once we start training with the POV sport and we get the energy levels up and the strength, they're like, oh, Melissa, I feel like I want to go like do something again. They do because they're stronger and they feel better and, you know, they have more more energy um, but then we have a, a third type clientele that um, I think is kind of where my heart really goes out to because I've had pain before is your your lupus and your rheumatoid arthritis patients um, and just people who come in with pain issues all over their body the POV is a really good um, therapy for them. You know, if you can't move at all, it, it's, an, it's an awesome therapy. Um, a lot of clients have told me that, um, one lady comes to mind in particularly, um, here when she first started, um, had lupus and, you know, getting out of the bathtub was a problem for her. Bending over to feed her cat was an issue. And just how it's changed her, her life has been, um, has been tremendous um, to see. And again, it's, you know, the, the way it works for those type of issues is it's getting blood flow, but we're also, you know, building strength all over the body, which in turn helps with walking and day-to-day, um, -day, you know, activities. So, you know, who is the POV for? It's for anybody. Um, anybody who, for one, desires to improve their fitness level. Um, number two is tired of hurting after they go to the gym, so it hurts too bad and they don't want to go back. Um, number three, just people who want to train properly. Um, athletes, it really can um, improve and enhance your performance um, in sports. People with, you know, chronic pain issues, um, you know, for me, um, it's it's just, it was the, the, the busyness of my life that kind of push me in that direction plus you know I really I'm a um, one that you can't just tell me something you have to prove it to me so I had to prove it to myself that um, you know what they were telling me with the machine and the the, um, the inventor of the machine was telling me I, I that that it actually does it does work like that and um, I did prove to myself that that it that it does so um, you know I would definitely um, recommend at least trying a session of the POV just to kind of see the, the revolutionary, um, I think, futuristic fitness love, fit, fitness machine it is. Um, I think 20 years from now, um, you know, 
people are, you know, I'm going to be telling people I told you so because people that look at me now like, uh, what, do you, what is this and how does it work? We're kind of a step above. It's revolutionary. So it's, it's um, the machine of the future. Um, I actually had a client not too long ago come in and tell me that, um, and, and I've never watched it. I don't watch a lot of TV, but that Bruce Lee in some of his movies, he trained with machines like this. Of course he did. Um, and, and, and the way it's so much more effective than, you know, working out is so normal muscles contract that our max capability as humans is about one to two a second. You know, you can get up to 245 contractions a second with the POV, so the equivalency there is impossible to do with your body. Um, and you're getting that blood flow and kind of, you know, building components. So that's how it's the equivalent of a two-week workout session in, in one um, session. You know, for example, to work your quads, you would literally have to do, you know, squats two hours a day um, for two weeks in a row to get the contractions you get in about a 10-minute treatment with the, the POV. So it's efficient, it's effective, um, and, you know, in this fast-paced world we live, I think that's all kind of what we're looking for is something that actually works and is efficient and is going to improve our health and help us feel better.